Hello and welcome to the world of pride and I am your host the one and only Kippy Love. Yeah my first day actually working in the backyard after my uh, injury you know to my back. Uh, the woman she's out here building a chicken coop. She uh working hard on it and I'm chopping up some wood so that way we can get rid of some of the wood. I still got to chop all that up and cut up some more wood over here. Get all this cut up so I can use that for firewood. And then we had to get rid of a little gasoline. So I poured it inside the burn barrel. And and uh, and so since I'm burning the burn barrel, uh, I'm in the process of burning all of this up. You know, this is all the stuff that came out of the ground. I cut down, you can see it's got wires all in it. So I'm trying to, uh, we can't, I don't want to put this in the, in the grill, you know, in case we, you know, drop some of that on the ground and I don't want to spear ourselves with it. So I'm throwing it in the fire pit and letting it burn off. So I gotta let that burn out. And I got my water hose. Yeah, I got my water hose. So that way you can uh you know, so that way I can sit there and and spray it out if it gets too dangerous. Got me a wood pile already over there, but I'm still working on it. Had uh, this on my next big project and hopefully in April. I've already told him I was gonna come over in April to do it, but I'm gonna take these four things that are you know all tore up and they're falling down basically already so now i've got to tear them down and uh, we've already got the post digger thing to drill the holes out and i'm gonna get that wood next month and come out here and put it up so we can quit bugging the neighbors <laughs> and then uh she's in the process of doing the chicken coop she's got the that's where she's gonna put her chicken coop right there. Here's her garden. She already got her garden going. That's our teepee, but she got some other stuff growing over here. But we're hoping that it'll grow and it's supposed to be some squash and other things, maybe some corn, so it'll have something to hang on to when it's climbing up the ladder. This is her new one. She's got to remodel it because. A big log, that big old log fell on top of it from that tree right there where that broken piece is there and it fell over and busted that up, knocked over one of her cans. So some of her stuff landed up on the ground. It was my monkey grass garden, but she's, you know, she made it. Those are some tomatoes, she got some tomatoes going. And then she got some nice vegetation going in here. Yeah, she got some parsley and all this other stuff growing out here. So hopefully they'll grow and we can keep the dogs out of it. I'm still working on digging up some stuff. I'm going to get these little last little bit of stubs out here. Trying to dig up. These are these are still good, but I got they're solid. See, they're solid. They ain't going to come out. This one's a little loose. You know, I just got to dig down and get the get the bottom cut this one down and dig it up but i got almost all of this dig dug up and cleaned out i have a couple little tiny ones i'm gonna try to dig out today all these little tiny ones like that that are sticking up i'm gonna dig them out today and then i still got to dig out these two here i've already started digging on this big one here i gotta dig these out and get these out of here and then dig that one out so I, I can get rid of all these here. Oops, somebody threw some garbage in our in our area. I'll have to use the long extender thing. But uh, yeah, once I get these, uh, can you imagine? I got burned by, by the fire and it's still alive. It's still alive. It's still got some green growing on it. So hopefully it'll stay alive long enough to serve its long life purpose and I still got to come out here and dig up these or grind them down I looked at a grinder it's going to be about thousand two thousand dollars just to get a grinder just to do the stumps had to dig up the bury up the holes where the dogs chewed them up 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to level this off, recut it again, so it'll be level across. So that way I can put a, a bowl or cup out here, so we can sit out here and and put our chairs right here, and we can put our bowl or cup right there, and we can look out at the yard and look at the flowers and stuff like that. So we're still working on that. I still got to put the things in the bottom, but of course with that back injury I I got, you know, it's my first day actually working hard at trying to test the limits got that one still got to dig it up and cut it down you know and then but this is our garden and and then over here is our babies still i this is what i did to the big dog the dalmatian i put cut that up and put it on top i got one cat there one cat there one cat over there got two over here somewhere but you know i was you know i was kind of like dealing with some other stuff while I was burying them up and and they're side by side but I don't remember if they're like over here or if they went this way or what but you know I lost where they were hopefully the dogs will never chew them up or dig them up if they do I'll know where they are <laughs> and then of course I got one there under that thing I got uh one under that big tire over there mommy's still working on the car Try and fix it up. We got another one, another puppy underneath the fire pit. I got to replace a couple of the round discs that cracked on there because I didn't realize they were so cheap and they broke. So I got to replace a couple of them there and that one and this one and this one over here. So I'm going to have to buy some more round discs. There's the other puppy dog under there. And then I got a, there's our car and neighbors and some of that. Front yard looking pretty good. I still got to get some dirt around there and cover up the holes so the dogs don't hurt their legs. But anyway, that's our outdoor uh, working experiments and everything. Y'all have a possum day and a perfect tomorrow. We'll catch y'all at Sketching Post where we can meow about everything nice and green. Wish we had some catnip growing. That'd be nice. Anyway, bye.